I'm excited about uplifting solutions to make sure Mother Earth is thriving. First and foremost, the climate crisis is real. Real. Real as you and me. And I'm real. I'm from, I feel this. This has direct implications on communities of color. From black and brown and indigenous kids being more likely to have asthma because of dirty air from fossil fuel. A large percentage of communities of color are forced to live in areas with toxic land, toxic air, toxic water. Many of our loved ones have been targeted by mass incarceration and immigration and are trapped in toxic conditions, held in detention centers and facilities that are built next to toxic sites that have contaminated water. Black and brown folks are disproportionately incarcerated, yet these are some of the same folks that have to fight wildfires caused by the climate crisis. Many immigrants work in agriculture, they face toxic working conditions and lack basic protections. Communities of color face extreme food insecurity, which leads to lifelong impacts to having to be on the front lines and experience the most devastation from wildfires to sea levels rising. We don't have to go outside of our communities to see how this crisis affects our people and how little the systems and governments do to make sure that our people are okay, that we're heard and healthy. Shoot. Many of those systems and governments actually target our communities and make the situation worse. We know it. We see it. We live it. We Climate change is a racial justice issue, a gender justice issue, a disability rights issue, a housing justice for all issue. All of our liberation is linked together. Black and brown folk are disproportionately affected by the climate crisis in the same way that we are disproportionately affected by this COVID-19 chaos. If we want to fight the climate crisis, we have to abolish all these systems that target vulnerable communities. So this Earth Day, let's do the work. Let's connect the dots and uplift solutions that help frontline communities. Let's recognize that black, brown, indigenous, and working class communities are the most affected by this crisis and need to be centered in this work because they're the ones that can lead us. Let's recognize that it's young women and girls, especially young women and girls of color, who are leading and changing this movement. On this day, on the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, as we're fighting for intersectional policies like the Green New Deal, let's celebrate and uplift leaders of color who are on the front lines fighting for us. Let's work towards collective liberation.